Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and today the next event has started and it is Bound Dragons. So the task that we have this time around is neutralize 3 guards, Fulton 3 guards, neutralize 9 guards, do this without getting caught and such, and you have to make sure you have you're doing this with the you with a person who has a staff rank bonus of one point oh one or higher. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. So we're gonna use our standard issue rifle, but we're also gonna use the grade five Fulton launcher because I found out a pretty interesting route for this. We're also gonna be using the grade seven riot pistol, so. If you guys got that from the from the previous event, now's your chance to use it. Along with uh, active decoy and grade 7 sleep grenades and some knock cyanin. And don't forget to grab your staff rank member who has 1.01 or higher. So we're going to use Brass Wallaby because he has the climber ability. And that's going to come in real handy on this one part. So you're just going to go ahead and just follow the route that I take because while you spawn you're going to be kind of invisible for a few seconds and you're going to take advantage of that and just run across the first platform. When you get to the second platform, toss your active decoy just to cause a distraction. Sometimes there'll be a guard that's right by the stairs there so you can easily just take him out with one shot from your riot pistol and just move on. But be sure to reload your riot pistol while you're going down the stairs because It'll, it'll give you an extra shot, and that might come in handy if you do end up getting caught. So sometimes this camera will spot you, and all you have to do is just shoot it down. So right now, everyone's going to be going towards the source of that sound, but they can still see you if you're not careful. So proceed with caution. So you're going to take out your standard issue rifle, and you're going to try aiming at the weak point. Now you don't have to actually destroy it to get the task done, however I like to destroy them because they will catch you and they will ruin your run. So here's an important bit of information. Never shoot the Fallen Rocket while you're trying to approach this, especially if you're like down the middle-ish area, because people will tend to find you. Start shooting your Fallen Rocket when you're over here on the side. And on top of that, Due to all the smoke grenade, the sorry, the sleep grenades that you have likely have tossed in that area, you're probably still waiting for them to disappear, so you can safely run in there without getting knocked out. So the Fulton launcher actually helps you Fulton some people while you're waiting for the gas to disappear. And after you Fulton the third guy, always make sure you hear the ping go off. There you go, and then you can enter inside the core. Now you do not need to use the Fulton Launcher at all, you can easily just have a lethal sniper rifle and just take out the drones. You really don't need the Fulton Launcher, period. It's just an option and I thought, hey, maybe I could try something different. But we do get a lot of plants for doing this, so this is a great time to stock up on plants if you need them. Or the same thing with like resources if you were to invade the base development platform. And every time we do this, we're going to get 20,370 event points, so that's quite a lot. And as you can see, you're gonna you you'll be able to finish a lot of things within a few runs. So, you know, don't even worry about it. So the rewards that we have this time is the Mira 71 grenade launcher. And if you've been collecting everything up until this point, well, you practically already have everything. So when it comes to the new suits, there's always gonna be the olive draft versions for both both the goblin and the megalodon. However, we will always get two different colors for those suits every event. So every event we're going to get two new colors for these suits and you know we have the red rust, the rose color for the goblin suits and mud and parasite mist for the megalodon suits. If you guys haven't done so definitely join my discord and if you also want you can also become a patron on my patreon account. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons over at patreon. Thank you guys for the support. I greatly appreciate it. So 
I won't be doing a live stream of the event tonight. I will be continuing the PC playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 5. I will be doing the FOB event this Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that one. I did do a stream last Tuesday, and I am uploading that video up on YouTube very soon, so you guys will be able to watch that and see what happened. But yeah, this is a very difficult FOB event, and a lot of people get frustrated over it. But, you know, just keep at it, and you will definitely succeed at it. I mean, I didn't get this good at it overnight. It took, like, it took like at least three FOB events for me to really get good at it and to find a good path for it. So, but, you know, you will get so much out of it. So this is a great time to farm your plants, your resources, your staff, anything. Anything and everything. Now is a great time, especially if you have the Riot Pistol from the last event. So, good luck to all of you. And I hope to see you guys in the stream later on tonight.